with Fresh Fang earnings, should you stay in the group or take some profits? Brad McMillan from Commonwealth Financial Network. We had strong earnings from the F and Fang. Facebook, what do you think? I think right now Facebook is still on a growth spurt. You're looking, investors are looking for growth. This is one of the few areas that are proving to be a good place to be. I think there may be some more upside. But there was commentary, though, about how the company was running out of room on, on the news feed for ads. I mean, is that worrisome? I mean, does it make you question the growth? Because with, you know, 2 billion users, you have to start to wonder. Well, I think the question is not so much the number of users. Okay, they're probably running out of headroom there. But the question is, have they reached the limit of their ability to monetize those users? And I don't think that's necessarily the case. I think they're going to have to be even more effective. I think they're going to have to be smarter. They may have to charge more. But running out of users doesn't actually mean that they're unable to keep moving on their earnings. It just means they got to be a little bit smarter about it. And so far, that's been a pretty good bet. And Brad, do you like FANG better than the broader tech sector or the other way around? Generally speaking, I don't. Investors are looking for growth, and certainly the FANG stocks are the place to be for growth. But they're paying full price and even more for that. I mean, you look at the valuations. That's concerning. It's a momentum play at this point. It's not a fundamental play. And at some point, that's going to change. So you need to be maybe a little bit more selective about your tech sector plays. Is that right? I think it's important to make sure you allocate appropriately. In other words, don't just focus on the high flyers, because they're not always going to be there. So take some of your profits, reallocate into other more appropriately valued names. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that the FANG stocks are going to come crashing down. It just means you want to be smart about how you play it. Where are those appropriately valued names within the tech sector? I mean, what kind of areas are we talking about? Well, you're starting to see some more focus on hardware. You're starting to see some more focus on service companies, kind of business infrastructure. As businesses around the economy need to get more efficient, they need to start paying attention to upgrading their tech infrastructure. Right now, the companies that are doing well are more consumer-facing. The FANG stocks are all consumer-facing. Let's start looking at the business-facing companies in that sector. All right, Brad McMillan, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Scott.